Hi everybody, so today is DIY day in my salon and everybody knows how I give it up when it comes to creating things and doing a little decor. So today I am going to make wall art for one of the walls in my salon and this is what I'm going to be using. These are the women's owned mini plates. It comes in a pack of 12. They came from Walmart. Everything that I'm going to use today came from Walmart. And those are the plates. And I'm going to be attaching these plates to this board. And I am going to be using this Rust-Oleum spray in metallic gold. So what I'm going to do first is open up these plates and I am going to place them on the board to see how many I have to work with. And I am just going to go over top. And see how it looks. With skipping a space. first hmm. and I have three plates left so let me see I don't know, maybe I should put them straight across like that. I don't know, I'll figure it out. So I'm going to take these outside and I'm going to spray them with the gold and let them dry. Alright, so I'm outside with my ER mask on because I'm extra as hell. But I'm about to spray paint the board first and then I'm going to spray paint the plates. So here's the board and we about to just give it a whirl. Hopefully the wind don't blow my board away because I'm going to be coming up short chasing it down the street. And here goes nothing.
I got a little spray on my table, but that's okay because we're gonna be DIYing that too. And I'm gonna just hit the edges. So that's pretty much it for the board. So I got the plates laid out now. And I'm gonna just start hitting them with the spray. So I'll be back when I get done spraying all of these and letting them dry. And they are ready to go on the board. So they're all sprayed up and I'm gonna allow them to air dry. This is drying pretty well. And up next, we're going to be putting the plates on to the foam board. All right, and now I am ready to glue my plates on. They are completely dry. I like the way how they have like little spots in them to make them kind of look imperfect because that's what really, to me, makes it look super artsy. So I have my little hot glue gun. And I'm just going to start attaching these to the board. Like so. Just making sure they touch, but not too much. And I just want to make sure that my plates aren't overlapping. And make sure that I get them in a good spot. Right where I want them to be at before I press them into the board. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this glue or the E6000 because I didn't know if these plates were going to be able to withstand the hot glue, but they are fine. So this is a go. So I'm just going to glue all of these down and then I will be back 
when they're all completed. Okay, so we're on the last row. And I am just gonna stick my last row down. Okay, so this is pretty much what we got so far. And I'm unsure of my plate placement in the middle to layer with. So I'm just going to try a few different um, ideas. Before I go ahead and stick them down. So we're going back to the plate placement. like before I place them. That gives a pretty decent 3D effect, but I'm not sure if I want to go with it like that. So let's try another form of placement. I made some hang off the edges like that. That is a super creative look, which I think I like it like that. So I think I'm actually going to glue them down like that. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm gonna put a little glue on the backs and just glue them down. So. I just wanna make sure I get it perfectly centered in between the four squares.
feel free to get funky with your designs. You don't necessarily have to do the same design. It's up to you. That's the best thing about creating things yourself because it is completely custom. You make it for you. So I'm going to finish gluing these plates down and then I will be back with the final look. And I'm just rubbing this around just to get the glue in a good spot. So it'll be all in the back where I need it to be on the other plates. Now I'm going to finish gluing these down and then I will be back to show you guys the final product. This is the finished product. I am probably going to stick it to the wall with Velcro. I'm not sure yet. I think it came out pretty decent. I love when the piece screams. Hey, look at me, I'm expensive. And then you know in your heart that you only paid like $10 for it. But that is the best part about DIY. You're so much more happier with your creations. If you decide to try this technique out or create a similar piece, let me know how it turns out. Thank you for watching.